hata 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 we dem aga do ya no no link and the attack no hata hata bring a old chain set up no link hata 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 Bless up my viewers and subscribers. I don't know the thing, man. I don't know the new link there and from new link production. So right about now, people you don't know say um the other day I did cover the sad passing of Shiny Robinson. You understand that's the member of parliament for the North East St. Anne people and in the end now we know that many people in St. Anne who love this lady not just saying labor right but even PNP and all over Jamaica who have loved this lady so much because she has done so much and done a great job you understand especially for the community of exchange and OTS in St. Anne so now many people been waiting and asking say oh they would like to pay the final respect to shiny how the funeral settings go and what go, go on and what go this well people now that I got the information of the full breakdown of what will be, you understand, first Shiny Robinson, final parts in St. Anne, and you know, before she laid to rest, so now I'm just going to give one of this update that has reached a new link. Well, body of the late Shiny Robinson lie in state. Please be advised that the body of the late Shiny Elizabeth Robinson, former member of parliament for the Northeast St. Anne constituency, and Minister of Labor and Social Security will lie in state at the following locations, scheduled date and time. Number 1. On Thursday, June 11, 2020, the body will arrive at the Anglican Church Hall in St. Anne's Bay at 10 a.m. and will lie in state until 2 p.m. Number 2. On Friday, June 12, 2020, the body will arrive at the Anglican Church Hall in Otrias at 10 a.m. and will lie in state until 2 p.m. Number 3. On Tuesday, June 16, 2020, the body will arrive at the Jamaica Labour Party headquarters at Belmont Road, Kingston at 10 a.m. and will lie in state until 2 p.m. The body will lie in state, closed casket. The public will be allowed to pay their respects by filling past the casket during the stated period of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Persons are being asked to wear their masks and adhere to the social distancing protocol. A condolence book will be available at each location for persons to sign their tribute, love and light. So, as you can see, that's the full breakdown settings of what will be, you understand, for Shaheen Robinson. So who want to pay their final respect, just remember that it's going to be a closed casket. You understand, the casket won't be open, so you won't get to see her body. You know what I mean? You will see the casket, but still it. You're going to pay your respect and your love. Yeah, man. So for residents in St. Anne, you get the locations. You understand already. So now you know it will be at the Anglican Church Hall in St. Anne's Bay. You understand? And that will be on June 11 and on June 12 from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. on these both days. So and then on June the 16th now, it will go to the Jamaica Labour Party headquarters, which is at Belmont Road in Kingston. And it's going to be the same time from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. And it will be a closed casket as well. You understand? So from me, New Link Production and the team, and I just want to send out my deepest condolences to Miss Shiny Robinson. You understand? I come across her a few times in my life already, you know. Come across her yeah several times you know and she was a really great lady honestly she was so love in St. and i can tell her that people she was so love you know because she has done a lot especially when she even get um in the ministry of the the local government there you understand she done a lot you know especially for farm workers and so when in saint and she was doing some great job man so in the end I just want to say rest in peace again to Shiny Robinson and her memories and her hard work will live on and sleep high, go fly in heaven, Shiny. Peace out. You don't know the thing of my viewers and my subscribers. This is New Link from New Link Production and we say attack, attack. Enough love, enough respect and peace and be good and be great. Peace out. Attack.
You go into Northeast Center and they can tell you that I, since I have been there since 2001, I've genuinely made a difference in the lives of the people that I serve. Because, that, if, I mean, my life, you know, my mantra is if I go through one day and don't do anything for somebody, then my life is not worth living. And that's how I was raised. That's how my parents raised us. We live very, my parents' house is very close to the road. And I tell the people, I say, build me a house by the roadside so that I may help my people. My mother was the type of person who everybody would come there and ask for something and sometimes she would say no and then by the time they get to the gate she said come back and I said why you call back and she said because it is a sin to say no when you can say yes so I have lived my life like that and I have I think I've run the constituency on that basis. You know, sometimes I criticize me and I say, well, Mr. Robinson, go over dead yard. Mr. Robinson, go over funeral. But the book of Romans says, when the people rejoice, rejoice with them. And when the people weep, you should weep with them. And Rest in peace, Shane.